Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to another Mosaic Monday. In today's video, we are going to be learning this pretty design right here. This is pattern number 36. The link to the charts that will be available down below in the description. It's over in my Etsy store for those of you who are interested in that, but you do not need the chart in order to work this design because I'm going to walk you through all of the rows together here in this tutorial you're going to need to grab two colors of yarn we're going to be working in a multiple of 12 plus 4 this week so you will be able to find this pattern on the multiple of 12 playlist as well as the mosaic monday playlist the chart set has two designs in it we're going to be working on design number one in this tutorial today I'm going to take you through doing one repeat of the design, which is what you have here. So that is one full repeat and with the ending row that I suggest. And then I will tell you in the video how you can move up to continue working the same exact pattern for a larger uh, section in a project or for an entire project. I also have project ideas down below in the description along with timestamps for all the row start times in the video. For those of you who are going to go to that chart set though, you will be able to see design number two in the chart set, which is this design spread out a little bit more. And you guys will be able to work from this video and join on and do the secondary design if you choose. Or of course you can work an entire project all the way out of that one. I may do a tutorial on this in a couple weeks. I have another tutorial that has to be done next. We're going to work on this one today. So grab your supplies, the crochet hook, and all of the yarn information for what I'm using in the video will also be down in that description. So make sure you're checking that out. And we're going to jump into the tutorial now. So today we're going to be using these two colors of yarn. Both of these are Daremore Studio and color A. So the color we'll be beginning with. Color A is going to be lilac. And that's the information if you want this exact color. And my color B is going to be jade, which is this one right here. So if you want the exact same yarn as me, that is what I am using today. We're going to get started by grabbing color A and beginning our starting chain. So we're working in a multiple of 12 today, and we're going to need to chain out whatever project that we want to do in that multiple of 12. So I have chained a total of 36 for my multiple. So that's three times 12. And then since I'm working flat, I've added four stitches onto the end. If you're working in the round, you will just chain in that multiple of 12, slip stitch to the very first chain you made to form a ring, and then you will begin working the repeats given in the video in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. You're gonna start working there. So now we're gonna work flat in the video. So get your starting chain ready for whatever project you want to do. And remember, there's always project ideas down in the description where I've already done the math for you. And we're gonna get started on row one now. So to begin row one, we're going to be skipping this first chain that we made right here. We're going to skip that chain and we're going to work here into the second doing our traditional single crochet. So just like normal, under the V and complete a single crochet. Now we're going to be working a back loop single crochet in all of our remaining stitches except for the very last stitch in our row. That will also be a traditional single crochet. But we're going to work the repeat now so we're going to identify the back loop only. And we're going to pick up just that one side of the stitch and then we do a single crochet just like normal from there so it's the placement of our stitch that makes it mosaic so we're going to identify our next stitch same thing back loop only single crochet so we're going to be placing one of those in all of our stitches except for the last one so you can continue to work on down your row and meet back up with me when you're ready and i'll show the end of the row as well for the rest of the tutorial, I will be referring to these stitches as single crochets since you guys will know that when we're working the repeat stitches, all we're doing is working in the back loop when we're doing the single crochet. 
So pause and we'll be back in just a moment to do the row end and move on to row two. We are here at the end of the row and we have one stitch left to work and we work all of our last stitches of every row exactly the same way we do a traditional single crochet. So that means we're going to go under the V, so completely into the stitch, and then just single crochet like normal from there. So now we just need to chain up two and clip our yarn to bind off so we can begin row number two. We're now going to begin to work row number two. So this is what you'll have after completing row one. And now we're going to return here to the first stitch in our row. So we're not turning our work or anything. We are working on one side of the entire time. So we're going to go back here to the first stitch in the row. This turning chain that we use to start row one, we're going to scoot that down out of the way. We want to make sure that we're going into the first actual V of the row. So we're going to go into that complete stitch. This is how we join on every single row. We're going to add on color B to our hook and we're going to draw up that loop. We are going to chain one and then we're going to go back down into the same exact first stitch. So same stitch and we're going to complete our traditional single crochet. So we're just going to pull up our loop and finish out. So now our repeat for row two is going to begin and row two's repeat is exactly like row one. We're going to be placing a single crochet in all of our stitches working in the back loop only. So pick up that back loop and there you go. Single crochet like normal. So very, very easy row and you'll be doing a traditional single crochet in that last stitch. So you can pause here and meet back up with me when you're ready for row number three. And that's where our mosaic work is actually going to begin. Row three begins now and we will be working in color A for this row. Row three's repeat begins by doing three double crochets over the next three stitches. And these are mosaic double crochets. So we're going to be dropping down. I used to call these drop down double crochets. So we're going to wrap our yarn like we would for a normal double crochet. And then we're going to actually identify the next stitch and slide directly down two rows below, picking up that front loop that we left. And now we just grab and pull up our yarn, grab and pull through two, and grab and pull through two. So that's how we will be doing all of our double crochets throughout the entire uh, repeat. So now we're going to place two more double crochets because our repeat begins with three. So here's number two. And now we're going to identify number three, slide down. If you're ever uncertain of where your next stitch is, you can always fold back these double crochets. Each double crochet will take up one stitch back here on this row. When we put them in place, they're covering those up. So now we know our next stitch is right here. And we're going to work three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's number one. Number two. And number three. one double crochet here into this next stitch three single crochets over the next three stitches there's number one number 
number two. And number three. And now we will work two double crochets to end the repeat. So right here in this next stitch, we're going to place one. And here is number two. So that ends our repeat for row number three. So let's recap what we've done. Row three's repeat began with three double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you'll be starting back over and working the start of the repeat next. We're going to do this together. So if you're new, you're going to get another little instruction here in a second. For all my experienced watchers, you guys know what to do. And finish up your row. We'll meet back up for the row in together in just a moment as well. So we're now going to restart the repeat for row three one more time together. So we immediately start working the beginning of the repeat. So that repeat begins with three double crochets. So we're going to identify our next stitch and we begin with our double crochets. So here's one, here's number two, And here is number three. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. And we will end the repeat with two double crochets over the next two stitches. One and number two. And that ends our repeat. So as you'll see, you'll just keep starting back over doing that exact set of stitches over and over on down your row. This is what it's going to look like. This is two repeats worked on this row. So we'll be back in just a moment to do the row in together. So we're now here at the end of row three, and you will have two stitches left at the end of every single row. In this next stitch, so the second to last stitch, we are going to restart our repeat for one stitch, and then we will traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So row three's repeat starts with double crochets. So we're going to be placing a double crochet here into this next stitch. And then very last stitch in the row is going to be a traditional single crochet. So we go under the V. And that is how we're going to be ending all of our rows. Every single row we'll do the uh, second to last stitch as the repeat. Whatever the repeat starts with will go here. And then we'll traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. 
So doing that means that your row starts and your row ends will be identical. So another clue to what you're going to be doing here in this last stitch is whatever you did here in your first stitch of the repeat. So that is what you will have after you complete. This is three repeats of the pattern completed on this row. So now we're going to move on to row number four. Row four begins now and we are working in color B for this row. Row four's repeat begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. So here's number one. two and number three. Now we will work three double crochets over the next three stitches. Here is number one. two and number three. We will now work one single crochet here in this next stitch. Three double crochets. number one number two oops and number three And we will do two single crochets to end our repeat. One and number two. So that ends our repeat for row four. So let's recap what we've done. Row four's repeat began with three single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets and we end with two single crochets. So you're going to start back over at the beginning of the repeat and begin working that same set of stitches and keep working those on down your row. We'll be meeting back up when you are ready for row number five. Remember at the end of the row you're going to restart your repeat for one stitch and then do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. It's all you need to do. So we'll be back in just a moment. Row five begins now and we'll be working in color A for this row. Row five's repeat begins by doing two double crochets. So we're gonna identify the very next stitch. number one and number two. Four single crochets over the next four stitches. There's one, two, three and number four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, 
one. Number two. Number three. And number four. And we will end the repeat by doing one double crochet. All right, so that ends our repeat for row number five. So let's recap. Row five's repeat began with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the row for the repeat and keep working on down until you finish up. So we'll be back when you are ready for row number six. Row six begins now. We are working in color B for this row. Our repeat for row six begins by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. So here's number one and number two. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Three double crochets, one, Two and number three, and we will do one single crochet right here into this next stitch to end our repeat. So that ends the repeat for row six. So let's recap. Row six repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So we will be starting back over doing these two single crochets. So essentially what you're doing all the way down the row is doing three single crochets, three double crochets over and over all the way down the row so we will be back for row seven whenever you are ready row seven begins now and we will be working in color a for this row row seven's repeat will begin by doing one double crochet here into the next stitch Now we're going to work four single crochets over the next four stitches. Here's one. Two.
three, and number four. One double crochet. One single crochet. And one double crochet. Four single crochets over the next four stitches to end our repeat. So here's number one. Two. Three. And number four. So that ends the repeat, so let's recap. Row seven's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So you will start back over with your double crochet and keep working this set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll be back for row eight whenever you're ready. We're now moving on to row number eight and we are working in color B for this row. Row eight's repeat begins with one single crochet. Two double crochets. Here's number one and number two. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. There's one, two, and number three. And we will end our repeat by doing two double crochets in these next two stitches. So here's number one and number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row eight's repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you'll start back over with this single crochet and keep working that exact set of stitches on down your row. We will be back when you are ready for row number nine. Row nine begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Row nine's repeat begins by doing three single crochets. So here's number one. Two. And number three. 
one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet. And we will end the repeat by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and number two. So that ends our repeat for row nine. So let's recap. Our repeat for row nine began with three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with two single crochets. So you will be starting back over with the three single crochets, and essentially what you're doing all the way down your row, the cheater method, is we're placing five single crochets, one double crochet over and over. So when I restart my repeat with the three single crochets, one, two, and three, then I do one double crochet, Then I'll have five single crochets, one double crochet, so on and so forth. So that's all you'll need to do all the way down the row. And we'll be back when you're ready for row 10. We are now moving on to row 10 and you will be working in color B. Row 10's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Two double crochets, there's one, And here is number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. There's one. And Number two. Three single crochets over these next three stitches to end our repeat. So here's number one. Number two. And number three. That ends our repeat for row 10. So let's recap what we've done. Row 10's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. 
So you'll start back over with that double crochet and keep working this set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll be back for row 11 whenever you're ready. Here's what your work will look like after completing row 10. We're moving on to row 11 and you will be working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins by doing one single crochet here into this next stitch. One single crochet. We're now going to do one double crochet. Four single crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. One double crochet. four single crochets, one, two, three, and number four. One double crochet, right here in this next stitch to end our repeat. So that ends our repeat for row 11. So let's recap what we've done. Row 11's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets and one double crochet will end that repeat. So start back over with your single crochet and work that exact set of stitches all the way down the row. We'll be back whenever you're ready for row 12. We're moving on to row 12 and you will be working in color B for this row. Our repeat for row 12 begins by doing two single crochets. Here's number one and number two. Three double crochets. Here's number one. Number two, and number three. Three single crochets. So number one. Number two. And number three. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. One single crochet right here in this next stitch will end our repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done here for row 12. 
Row 12's repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So when we start back over with the two single crochets that starts the repeat, one and two, from here on, you really, if you look at what you're really doing, you are essentially making three single crochets, three double crochets all the way down your row. But the exact repeat for the design is this set of stitches. But you'll see what I mean as you work on down your row. So we will be meeting back up in just a moment for row 13. We are moving on now to row number 13. We are working in color A. Row 13's repeat begins with one double crochet. Four single crochets. There's number one. Two. Three. And four. Three double crochets. There's one, two, and number three. Four single crochets over these next four stitches. Number one, two, three, and number four. And that ends our repeat for row 13. So let's recap what we've done. Row 13's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with four single crochets. So you'll start back over with your double crochet and keep working on down this row. We'll meet back up when you're ready for row 14. Row 14 begins now, and we are going to be working in color B. Row 14's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. So we're going to identify this very next stitch. Do one single crochet. Three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Five single crochets, 
one two three four and number five Three double crochets will end the repeat. Here is number one. Two. And number three. So that ends our repeat. For row 14 so let's recap row 14's repeat began with one single crochet three double crochets five single crochets and we end with three double crochets so you guys know what to do and meet back up with me when you are ready for row 15 Row 15 begins now. We are going to work in color A for this row. Row 15's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. Five double crochets. Here's one. Here's number two. Three. Four and number five. Three single crochets over these next three stitches. Here's one. Two. And number three. And that ends our repeat for row 15. So let's recap. Row 15's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, five double crochets, three single crochets. So you're going to keep working on down your row. And then we'll be back when you're ready for row 16. Row 16 begins now. We're working in color B for this row. Row 16's repeat begins with one single crochet. So right here. Very next stitch. There's one. Three double crochets. Two and number three. Five single crochets. Number one. Number 
two. Three. Number four. And number five. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. That ends our repeat for row 16. So let's recap. Row 16's repeat begins with one single crochet, three double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you guys keep working on down your row. Then we'll meet back up whenever you're ready for row number 17. Row 17 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 17's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Four single crochets. Here's number one. Number two, number three, and number four. Three double crochets. Here's one, here's two, and here is number three. Four single crochets over the next four stitches to end the repeat. So here's number one. Number two, number three, Oops. and number four. So that ends our repeat for row 17. So let's recap. Row 17's repeat began with one double crochet four single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with four single crochets. So you will start back over with that double crochet and keep working that exact set of stitches on down the row. We'll be back for row 18 whenever you are ready. Row 18 begins now and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row 18 begins by doing two single crochets. So here's number one. And number two. Three double crochets. There's one. Two 
and number three. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. There's number two. And number three. And one single crochet here in this next stitch to end our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 18's repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So this is another row that once we restart the repeat with the two single crochets from here, really all we're doing down this row is three single crochets, three double crochets over and over, all the way down. So we'll be back when you're ready for row number 19. Row 19 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 19's repeat begins by doing one single crochet here in this next stitch. One double crochet. Four single crochets. Number one, two, three, and number four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. And we will do one double crochet in this next stitch. And that will end our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 19's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll restart that repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll be back when you're ready for row 20. Row 20 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 20's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. One 
three single crochets. One. Two. Three. Two double crochets. There's number one. And number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. There's number one and number two. And three single crochets over these next three stitches to end that repeat. So here's number one, number two, And number three. That ends our repeat for row 20. So let's recap. Row 20's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So we're going to start back over and keep working that same set of stitches all the way down your row. And then we'll be back when you're ready for row 21. Row 21 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 21's repeat begins by doing three single crochets. Just going to identify our next stitch. Right there. There's number one, two, and three. One double crochet, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet. And two single crochets to end the repeat. There's one and number two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. Row 21's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet and we end with two single crochets so when we work the three single crochets that starts the repeat we are essentially going to see that we're doing five single crochets one double crochet all the way across this row once you get it set up that's really what you're doing of course you can always go by the exact repeat that i gave if that's what you're more comfortable with, but finish up your row and we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 22. Row 22 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 22's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets, one, 
one. And number two. Three single crochets. Number one. Number two. And number three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number. And we will end by doing two double crochets here in these next two stitches. So number one and number oops, two. So let's recap what we've done. Row 22's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you'll keep working that set of stitches and then we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 23. Row 23 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 23's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Four single crochets. There's number one. Two, three, and number four. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. And we will end by doing four single crochets. Here's number one. Number two. Three. And four. That ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 23's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. We end with four single crochets. So you will start back over and keep working that set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll be back for row 
Row 24 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 24's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. So let's do number one. And number two. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. And we will end by doing one single crochet here into this next stitch. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 24's repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So this is another row where you're going to start back with your two single crochets. And that means essentially from here, you are working Three single crochets, three double crochets, over and over, all the way down the row. Very, very easy row to do. So we will be back when you're ready for row 25. Row 25 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 25's repeat begins by doing two double crochets over these next two stitches. Here's number one. And number two. four single crochets over these next four stitches. One, two, three, and number four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three and number four. One double crochet to end our repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. 
Row 25's repeat began with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over and keep working that same set all the way down the row. We'll be back for row 26 whenever you are ready. Row 26 begins now, and row 26 is our final row. So you're going to be joining on with color B. Our repeat for row 26 begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. Here's number one. Number two and number three. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. One single crochet. Three double crochets. There's one. Two and number three. Two single crochets to end our repeat. There's number one and number two. So let's recap what we've done. Row 26's repeat began with three single crochets. Then we have three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So you're going to keep working on down your row, and then we're going to meet back up one final time to go over how you repeat the pattern, color change, that sort of thing in just a moment. So here's what your work will look like after you complete row 26. And if you are finished with this pattern, you're just going to do this one repeat in your project or for whatever you're making, then I recommend that you go back to row three and work row three as your final row in color A. And that will make your end of your project match with how it began. It'll look more identical. For those of you who are going to use this in a larger project or for a entire project, you're going to rewind back to row three and you are going to work rows three through 26 over and over as many times as you like. As you restart your repeat, you can start to change out colors. So at row three, you could change uh, color A out. At row four, you could change color B out. Or for those of you who are more experienced, you can use the tapestry technique that I taught in one of my recent tutorials and do your color change where you bring in a third color here in this section. So you'd be working that third color in in this area. So you would do that color change for those doing that method 
will begin at row 20. So you would start bringing in your third color using the tapestry technique on row 20, which is right here. And that would change out color B on the next repeat of the design. So you're going to see as you go, keep moving up that this design right here is then offset. So it kind of staggers as you move up. And you keep working the same way and you'll see that you create a really pretty piece of fabric, essentially. So hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment down below. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching and all of your continued support and kind words. I really cannot thank you guys enough. So until next time, bye for now. And for those of you who need to see it, this is what it will look like when you do row three as your final row to finish out the pattern or the project, I should say. Okay, bye for real now.